Hello. Today I was driving Bob into work and my Benjamin was in the car because he was sick and couldn't be at school. And as we were driving, he mentioned to me, Mom, do you know what I want for Christmas? And I asked what, and he said, I just want to feel better again, like I used to, and be the healthy me. And I kind of thought about it for a minute. I said, you know, Ben, that would be the best gift ever. That's what I want for Christmas too. And of course it is. What would be better than that? I wish that I could give him that. I wish that I could wrap it up in a bow and put it under the tree and give Benjamin his healthy self of a year and a half ago. Since I can't really do that, I was excited when he said, you know what else would be cool, Mom? It would be the best gift if I got to see Uncle Jeremiah again. And I was so excited. You could have heard me just breathe a huge sigh of relief because luckily for all of us, Jeremiah is coming. <laughs> and I'm so excited. This is a gift that I can give Benjamin some time with his awesomest uncle ever. And so anyway, we talked about that excitedly the whole rest of the ride home. And I was thinking how easy it is in our everyday life to get really caught up just in life and in the busyness of life. And I am the very worst about it. Life can be super busy running here and there and trying to do a hundred things. And I forget to take the few minutes to actually notice the people that I'm with in my family and really give them my attention and make memories and have fun with them. And so I was thinking about the holidays and it's really easy in the holidays to get caught up in that same really fast hustle and bustle of trying to do a hundred things and buy a hundred things and prepare and plan a hundred things and just do everything all at once and really kind of skip over the time uh, spent with family because we're trying to check off all the things that are on our to-do list. And so anyway, I was thinking as Benjamin mentioned to me how excited he would be to see Jeremiah that I really should remember in my own life to focus more on the people and the memories and the things that we do more on that than on the busy holiday making things that is just really buying stuff, buying presents and wrapping them up. And especially when you're living on a budget like me, I'm trying to buy a whole lot of cheap stuff and wrap it up fancy. And that is not what it's all about. And so anyway, talking to Benjamin made me really realize that, that this year I want to focus more on the memories and on the occasion or the events, the things that we can do more on that than on the gifts or things that we can give to each other. And then um, as I was thinking of that, also today is super awesome for me. 17 years ago today, Bob asked me to be his girlfriend and I kind of had been waiting. I didn't know how long he would wait to finally ask me to be his girlfriend. I guess where he grew up, you didn't ask people that question. You just were boyfriend and girlfriend. So anyway, um, but he finally asked me and I was happy. And anyway, it's been a great 17 years. And I know for a lot of those 17 years, I have probably totally taken him for granted. And it's really easy when you're married to see all the not so great things about somebody. And it's really easy to look over the wonderful things. When you're dating, those wonderful things catch your eye and you can ignore a whole lot of important things. But once you're married, it kind of flips on you. And it's really easy to get caught up in the negative and not even notice the positive anymore. So anyway, I was thinking of it today, how lucky I am. Bob and I have always joked that it's some kind of miracle that we even happened to end up together all those years ago. So many things had to line up right in order for us to meet on a silly bus. Anyway, that's another story. But I was thinking about how blessed I am now to have him. And this year has really made me think about how we take for granted the people in our lives and how every moment we need to try to be in the moment and especially with our loved ones to really focus on them and love them in the moment because we don't really know what tomorrow will bring. We don't know how many more moments we have together. And so anyway, today Bob's been my boyfriend for 17 years and I hope we have 17 more and even more than that. And I just was thinking today about family 
and friends and love. And I hope I remember, I should watch this video myself in two weeks because I hope I remember throughout the Christmas season to focus on the people I love more than the stuff that can get a little overwhelming at Christmas time. And so anyway, that's what I hope for you guys too. I hope you enjoyed a wonderful Thanksgiving, had some fun time with your family, and I hope that you can focus also on appreciating the people in your life and enjoying the moments that you have with them and just making the most of the time you have with the people that you love. So that's all. Have a good night.